Who could be going gender, gender neutral? Asks the far left females at the skim. You haven't heard that, that, that name in a while, have you? God. Yesterday, the Church of England said that they're launching a project this spring to explore whether to refer, whether to, refer to God in a quote-unquote non-gendered way, non-gendered way during worship. The church of cooks. Sorry, that's kind of rude. Kids, don't repeat that word. It's dirty, but this is dirty. It makes me want to spit. Two. And that's too joking of a spit. Two. The church says that they're going to reflect the fact that Christians have recognized since ancient times that God is neither male nor female. What? But as of right now, it says it has no ab- absolutely no plans to cut or significantly change the liturgies. Yeah, the liturgical church. <sighs> Stupid. But we knew that the Church of England was... Cover your ears, kids. I'm serious. Cover your ears. We knew the Church of England was cucked. I feel bad saying that. <laughs> I couldn't even say it, Alpha. I wish I could say that more, Alpha. <laughs> But JLP walked in and said, but, <laughs> but, he said, but, for beta, beta, I'm just a beta complainer about the degeneracy taking over the earth. And speaking of that, last little clip for you guys, Australia, another white country, white Christian country. Were they Christian or a bunch of prisoners or criminals <laughs> or both? Australia ambas- Osamb Gender. This is from Osamb Gender, the Australian ambassador for gender equality, who is not named. Uh, <laughs> look at that face. Mildly attractive. Mildly horrific. Uh, face kind of inten- an intense look in her eyes. Oh, Stephanie Corpus Campbell. Campbell. Stephanie Corpus Campbell. Nice name. I am honored to be Australia's new ambassador for gender equality. I look forward to promoting Australia flag emojis, um, commitment to gender equality and the human rights, communist buzzword, of women and girls and persons of diverse gender identities. Here's, shall I play this one minute clip? Let's, uh, do you have the clip? Uh, It is clip, uh, I think like 14 or something. Here it is, enjoy or not. Hello, I'm Stephanie Copas Campbell, Australia's new ambassador for gender equality. I'm incredibly honoured to take on this role as the lead international advocate for Australia's commitment to gender equality and the human rights of women and girls and persons of diverse gender identities. In this role, I'm committed to listening to those who are dedicated to promoting gender equality and learning about the perspectives and priorities in communities, in countries, in our region and globally. Promoting gender equality is the right thing to do, but it's also the smart thing to do. It is central to Australia's diplomatic, economic development and regional (laughs) security, as well as our international engagement. I look forward to (laughs) working with partners in Australia, in the Pacific, in Southeast Asia and globally to progress the Australian government's priorities to increase women's economic empowerment, women and girls' leadership and to end sexual and gender-based violence to improve access to health and education services and progress the women, peace, and security agenda. Gross, huh? She's got a nice voice, and she seems fit. Uh, You know, like, slim. That's Australia something. Um, So that's that. uh, If you didn't listen, her eyes are like wide and intense, like crazy eyes. Hake has that too, sometimes. Crazy eyes, like Cortez. 